Sometimes we want the user to select different settings manually. And as you have seen in the Enneknet client, it is quite slick and there's not much settings and selections to do for the user. But we can configure the firewall to tell the Enneknet client to ask the user different stuff. For example, let's say that our user Cisco wants to run full tunnel sometimes and split tunnel sometimes. In the last video, we configured split tunnel and we did that by going into the default group policy and change the split tunnel policy to do tunnel network list below. Let's say that we want our user to do a manual selection. Sometimes he wants to run a full tunnel, sometimes he wants to run a split tunnel. We do that by creating multiple group policies. Let's do that first. We have a default group policy that contains different settings like the VPN pool, like DNS servers, and the split tunnel policy. If we create another group policy, let's say we create a group policy called full tunnel group policy. You can see here that for all settings, there is an inherit checkbox that is by default checked. That means that all settings in our newly created group policy are inherited from the default group policy. Since we have not unchecked anything in the full tunnel group policy, contains exactly the same thing. If I want to change the DNS settings, for example, the best way to change that is go into the default group policy and change the DNS server setting here, because that setting will be inherited by all other group policies like here, inherit. What I do next is that I create an exception for the inherit function for the split tunnel setting. I go into the policy and I say for my full tunnel group policy not to inherit the split tunnel policy, but instead do a tunnel all networks. That means that when using this group policy, there will be a full tunnel because the split tunnel setting from the default group policy will not be inherited. Next step for us is to apply this group policy somewhere, because right now it's just created but not being used anywhere. Let's have a look at the connection profiles down here. We only have two connection profiles. Default RA group is being used for IPsec VPN clients, so it's not applicable here. And all users automatically hit the default web VPN group when they use any connect. That default web VPN group policy slash connection profile uses the default group policy. So what we do is that we create another connection profile. Let's say full tunnel connection profile, and we create an alias. I will soon explain why. Full tunnel, we say, and we say that the group policy for that connection profile is the full tunnel group policy. Now we have two connection profiles for any connect. We enable SSL for that one. We have an alias for this one called full tunnel. And actually, I've already before set an alias for the default web VPN group called split tunnel. We have two different connection profiles for any connect. And if I check this box, allow user to select connection profile, he will be asked to choose which connection profile to use. And he will be prompted with these two aliases. What the user will see is split tunnel or full tunnel. It's the two aliases. The only differences between those are the group policy. And the only difference between the group policies is that the last one uses a full tunnel, split tunnel policy. The default group policy uses a split tunnel policy. After doing that, we apply the settings. We'll try to see if it works. We go to the client and we do a connect. We will see that we will now get a prompt up here that we did not get previously to select between full tunnel or split tunnel. We select full tunnel in this example. We connect. And we will hopefully see a full tunnel. We see here that the tunnel is up because we can ping the internal server on the internal protected network. Tunnel all traffic, because I selected the full tunnel policy. In the route details, it says 0, 0, 0, 0. And if I disconnect and connect again. Now I select the split tunnel instead. I will hopefully see a split tunnel policy. Ping goes up again. We see a secured route 10, 0, 0, slash 24. It says split include. Depending on the user selection in the drop down box of the AnyConnect client, he can get either one or the other group policy. 
and we can use that for different purposes. But we can also do that function to select different authentication methods. We can select between different DNS server settings or many other. Everything that is configured in the group policy or in the connection profile can be manually selected by the user by creating more than one connection profile, checking this allow user to select connection profile checkbox, and create aliases for each connection profile. If we do not create an alias, it will not be available for selection for the user. This was a easy way to create a selection for different settings for the user. In the upcoming videos, we will have a look at how we can automatically add and delete privileges.